everybody, it's Kyla. I know it's been a minute, but I am back. I am better. I am blessed. I am happy. I am favored. I know it's been a long time, but today I'm just coming with a real quick message today, though. Actually, um, it's kind of late, and I need to get ready and um do my workout and go to bed. So I just wanted to come on here with a quick little hot and ready before I um get to my workout and get to sweating and then get in the shower and get in the bed all that so um just a little bit about what i've been up to during um quarantine and everything i think the last time i uploaded was what like two weeks ago um now was it two weeks yeah something like that um yeah it's just been not a lot going on but i've just been kind of getting through some stuff um and plus, I'm saying truthfully, my hair wasn't done. And I was too lazy to get up and do it. I just got the truth. Um, and plus, I had got a little sick, so I had to get through that. Um, yeah, so I just been um, getting that together. Um, I'm feeling so much better now. I feel back to myself. I feel back 100% and everything like that. All glory to God himself. Um, also, I just started my new job. Yay me. Um, today actually was my first full day and it was very successful. I'm really excited for this journey. Um, this is going to be my first time having a job where it's going, where it's more like a career. So I'm really excited about that. Um, met some really great people. My team leaders and everybody seem really cool. So I am excited. Um, I am working from home, of course, because of the pandemic and everything, which I'll probably work at home from for a while. Um, probably won't go into the office until maybe June, which is okay for me because, um, I've actually always prayed and wanted a job, um, working from home. So I'm excited as long as I'm on that clock, <laughs> I don't care where I'm at. So I'm excited. Um. I don't know why my eyes looking like that. Looking a little crazy. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's that. I'm very excited about that. Um, I've got a few other things that I'm trying to prepare for as well. King's birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks. His birthday is May 17th. He'll be two years old, y'all. I'm about to have a two-year-old. So, um, of course, the pandemic probably will still be going on, which is fine. Um, I'm not really pressed about, you know, having no big party or anything like that anymore. So, you know, that's pretty much cool. Um, other than that, what else been going on? Um, yeah, so I was sick, um, for like a week. Um, I never went and got tested for the virus. So it's not like, oh, I had COVID-19. I never want to got tested, but I did have um, basic. I had pretty much all of the symptoms except for um, of a sore throat. I had everything else. The no oh, and the throwing up. I didn't have, um, I didn't throw up, but I was so nauseous. Like, y'all see, I see how serious I got. It was that serious. Like, it was terrible. Okay, like. Couldn't even, like, ugh, just thinking about it made me feel sick. But, yeah, the nausea, the, um, I had a runny nose. Um, my cough wasn't terrible. Like, it wasn't uncontrollable, but it was just, you know, the mucus coming up. Um, and I do have asthma, so I'm pretty sure, you know, that played a part in it. Um, so, you know, I had, um, I lost my taste and smell. The headaches, I had a headache all up in here, all up in there, every, ugh. Just feeling crazy. The body aches, back pains, um, everything like that. So, you know, of course, I'm like, God told me he was going to pull me through. So, I wasn't worried about that, but it did get kind of hard for me because um, I quarantined myself upstairs um, all the while um, Brandon and King was, you know, in the lower level of the house and you know Brenda was just holding it down you know during that time because I was trying my best to stay away from them I didn't sleep um in our bed I slept upstairs um I'm thankful that we even have a home you know that's big enough where I had a space to quarantine myself 
um, you know, to prevent them from um, getting any symptoms or anything like that, in which they didn't have any symptoms at all. So, um, thank God for that. But, yep, I just, um, you know, I did every remedy that, you know, people saying going around, steam your face, everything like that. But um, I had some antiviral and some um, immune blend drops from um, Dr. Carla. Y'all can follow her at on Instagram at a dose of Dr. Carla. Also, follow her business page at, um, I believe it's E-I-W-T um, on Instagram. Because I'm telling y'all, them drops, like, by the second, going into the third day of me being sick, my symptoms as far as the headaches and the... um the nasal congestion and the uh body aches and the chills were were like it was a really um a major improvement like i would say with them i was taking them every hour that's how they were prescribed if you have an active infection it says to take them every hour so that's what i was doing and by like that second or third day those symptoms started to lighten up a lot um and then from that point i was just dealing with the nausea and then the loss and taste of smell and, um, you know, still my body was just really sore and the sh I, and I had the shortness of breath. Um, and, you know, for that, um, you know, I was just really trying to stay up and moving kind of. I didn't want to just, like, my body wanted me to just lay there and just, just lay there. But um, I really just wanted to get up and get the moving. So I had tried to kind of do little exercises and stuff like that, get my body heat going and everything like that uh, with my little sister. My arm hurts, y'all. Um, yeah, so I started doing, trying to push myself, push through and do some exercises in which, I understand truthfully, after I did that, I felt a lot better. Like, I started to feel some improvements. So I'm like, okay. And then, of course, I was trying to get some rest and um, I had some oregano oil. And um, for some reason... That what was that? Maybe like the fifth day, I believe. I just started feeling really like just nauseous and just sick. And I was just like, I'm so sick of feeling. I just want to feel. I just had the urge to just feel normal again. So <clears throat> I remember this video that I seen on Instagram of this lady taking a blow dryer, and which she um she had COVID nineteen bad, like something serious. So she said she took the blow dryer and she sprayed her face with water. And then she held the blow dryer up to her nose. And she said immediately her her symptoms started to disappear. I said, okay. Because she was saying that the virus lives up here, the coolest area of your um body and everything like that. So putting that heat on it from that blow dryer. And then, of course, you spray it so you won't burn your skin off. But... You know, so I was like, okay. So I went back to her video and I asked her, like, how long did she do it? She was like, you know, she did it for about two hours plus, like, all night. So I'm like, all right, let's try this. At this point, my mama-in-law had just um, actually bought me a blow dryer. Like, um, the uh, like a few days uh, before. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. Just got this blow dryer because before that, I didn't have one. So I'm like, okay, cool. Went upstairs and I was like, I'm about to just do it. I poured the perfume out that spray bottle and I sprayed my face and I blow dried it for like two hours straight. Two hours straight. And when I tell y'all, after that, I was kind of hot, of course. So my husband had just made some Kool-Aid. Now, earlier this day, I had got some of the Kool-Aid because I, I knew I was thirsty, even though I knew I couldn't taste it, but I knew I was thirsty. I drank the Kool-Aid earlier that day, and I couldn't taste nothing. It was just, you know, some cool liquid going down my throat. But after I blow dry my face for that two hours, I can't draw now my right hand up to God. If I'm lying, I could drop dead right now. Okay? I could taste every bit of that kool-aid okay it was black cherry and pink lemonade mixed together i could taste every bit of that kool-aid just after two hours now my smell i couldn't smell yet but my i could taste and when i stood up i felt 
so much better than I did. Like I was not, the nausea com instantly went away. I was not nauseous and I tried to wait, um, you know, for like an hour or so just to see like, you know, if I was really feeling better, like, you know, maybe it was gonna come back. And I was good. <laughs> I was good. Like, I'm telling y'all, it was crazy. Then, like, later on in that night, I started to smell a little teeny bit. By the next day, my smell, by the next night, actually, my smell was completely back. And when I say I was just so excited, I felt 100% better. Like, literally. The only thing was my chest was just kind of sore from just... Because during the time when I was sick, my heart, I felt like my heart was just pumping out of my chest the whole time. Like, it was just pumping so fast. On top of the fact that I was trying to do the breathing exercises because I was having shortness of breath really bad. So, I was trying to get that together. Um, Yes, yeah, so, I'm telling y'all, if y'all know anybody who are dealing with the symptoms of COVID-19 or they have COVID-19, I'm telling y'all, just try it. Just try it. Y'all don't got to sit here and believe me and think I'm capping or try for yourself. Tell them to try it. I guarantee y'all that y'all will see some improvements. Do that. And while you're doing it, get on your phone and let Psalms 103 verses 1 through 22 play. That'll bring peace to your mind to the point where you will relax your body while you're letting that heat consume all up in that area i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all just do it ask god tell god tell god what he said you said by your stripes i am healed tell your body you are healed not you going to get healed you healed already and actually believe it and y'all tell me how that works for y'all like i i'm y'all gotta believe this to be true like it's it's so serious like, I felt instantly better. Instantly. <laughs> like, I started feeling sick Sunday. And this was Thursday when I felt completely better. And I'm not going to lie. It kind of was making me, it was so bittersweet because I was like, dang, you know. I, all I did was, you know, use this blow dryer. And, you know, of course, I was doing other stuff, but. You know, like, God really pulled me through, you know, and it just kind of saddened me just to think of how, you know, my uncle passed, like, he died from this virus, and I just kept thinking, like, dang, what if he could have did this? You know what I'm saying? Would he still be here? You know, and I and I hate, I would hate to question God, but, you know, like, when you just going through something like that, it does make you think about those things. On top of all the other people who have, um passed away due to this virus and everything like that it just makes you think about everything but um all glory to god that uh that's king in him <laughs> you looking like a baby and yeah, he naked oh god king go watch your tv anyways yes so Yes, all glory to God that I'm feeling better. I owe it all to him because I know it was nothing but him that pulled me through that. And what's really crazy is, like I said, I started feeling sick Sunday. This was Thursday when I felt completely better. Taste and smell back, everything. And guess what? My first day at work was Friday. Like, come on now. He's intentional. Everything about him is intentional. He's so strategic, and I love it. Like, I was just so happy because I'm like, dang, I hope I'm feeling better, you know, by the time I have to start work, you know, because I wanted to be actively engaged in on there. It was our orientation day, so I just wanted to make sure that I was, you know, well enough to be on there and do that, you know. So I was so excited about that. Um, Everything went well with that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. Um, now, I did kind of, I, I want to, I got a topic I really want to speak on, but I'm trying to decide if I want to go live because I want, I need feedback on this topic. I'm trying to decide if I want to go live, um, do like a YouTube live thing or a Facebook live or Instagram live. 
which one do y'all prefer i really want to talk about the subject of or i really just want to share my testimony on um I really don't know what to call it, but basically, I just want to share my testimony on how I was, I've been um, working on manifestation and, and faith and just really speaking something and really believing it and then seeing it happen. Like, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, when y'all hear this, y'all is going to be like, I need to try some of that. I need to try God because... Let me tell y'all, like, he was just, back, I'm talking about back to back with it, like, boom, boom, boom. He was doing it for me. Every, so he, boom, boom, he was back to back with it, wasn't he? Y'all know, son, he know. I'm telling y'all, like, I just felt so near and dear to God's heart by the way that things was happening for me because it's like he cared about me enough to allow these things to happen in my life the way that it was happening and you know to some people it might just look like you know oh it's another job oh or that's just that that's just coincidence this is that but i'm i'm telling y'all nothing in life is by chance by luck by coincidence none of that it's god it's confirmation so i just really want to share some things that God has been just doing in my life and you know that he's been doing for me and you know through me because mentally and spiritually and physically as well I have been um making a lot of progress and I'm just getting really excited about this new version of myself that I am manifesting in this season of my life so and of course I want to share it with y'all I really do and I really would love to have y'all active feedback so I think I am going to go live um, I, I really uh, want y'all to comment and let me know which um social media platform would be better for me to do that on. Um, either YouTube, Facebook Live, or Instagram Live. So let me know. Comment below and let me know. Also, drop some video ideas and topics and everything like that. I am back working now Monday through Friday, nine to six, but. God's will, I will make a way to start back my weekly uploads and everything like that. So just drop some ideas and be on the lookout. Um, follow my Instagram page at um what is it? K Riley 2.0 because I will be dropping some um fashion um content very soon, as well as on my business page that's God X Y S O. And uh, follow me on Facebook at Kyla Riley just to stay um, updated. I post a lot on there and everything like that. So, um, it was nice catching up with y'all a little bit. Um, I'm going to get ready and go now. So, do not forget to comment and let me know which platform I should go live on because I really want to do that. Like, um, today is Tuesday. So I'm really, I really want to aim to do that by Thursday. So I'm going to upload this video um, tomorrow morning. So can y'all please comment and let me know so that I can um, schedule to do this Thursday evening. So comment, let me know. Don't forget to um, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you can see every time I upload. And y'all have a good night.